Ferguson look at him go. He's trying to gather in the Romanian. And Ferguson has moved out to the front. Romania second. Berberg from Sweden is third. And Ian Ferguson, the Iron Man of New Zealand canoeing, is out in front. He's going to win the gold medal for New Zealand second. Would be Sweden at third. Del Rio from Spain, but no doubt about it. I still love watching those sort of things. It's great to have you with us on the cafe. We are lucky to be joined today by one of New Zealand's most successful Olympians. Ian Ferguson has competed in five Olympic Games and has four gold medals. He's joined by his son, Steve, who is continuing the proud sporting tradition. Ferg Jr. has represented New Zealand at four Olympics and was the first athlete to ever compete in two different sports in consecutive Summer Olympics. Welcome, guys. Thank you. Nice to have you here. Uh, first up, Steve. So you were swimming and a sprint <coughs> canoeist yeah yeah so it's um you know it's a bit of a random mix but um swimmers do make good good kayakers and i swam for 15 years and then decided that um my heart wasn't quite there anymore i still love swimming but i just didn't quite have that passion to drive to to be an olympian anymore and um you know went down the family sort of route and uh got in the boat and dad sort of took me under his wing and showed me how to do it and Within a few months, I was staying in the boat and qualified for the next Olympics. You must have been immensely proud of Steve. Oh, very proud, yeah. I love watching him compete, whether it's swimming or surf lifesaving, kayaking. It's great watching your kids do well. Yeah. And look, look what it's done to them now, because, I mean, look at them. A picture of health, both very good-looking men, and represented this country phenomenally well. And what sort of pressure is there? Is there a lot of mental pressure, or is it more physical pressure when you're at something like the Olympics? Uh, it's your mental pressure, that's for sure. Um, and you've just got to get over that. And, you know, I only got over it when I realised I was the best. You, you have to believe in yourself. If right. you believe in yourself, then you forget the pressure a bit more, and you're thinking... I'm going to beat you, you bastard. You, know, you look at me, <laughs> this is the other guy, and you know you're going to beat him, and then yeah. when you know you can beat him, you can beat him. And the thing is, I think these days, with like a lot of team sports, there's a lot more of uh, head spaces put into that sort of thing, isn't there? That sort of mental preparation. But back when you were doing it, maybe not so much was put into it. No. It was no. just like you get out there and you do the winning. <laughs> but you were in LA, you were in LA to watch, because yeah. at the LA Olympics, you won three gold medals, two in one day, and then one the next day. I mean, that's phenomenal. You were four yeah. when you're watching. But do you, do you have any memories of that time? Just Disneyland and uh, I, I, I oh, have... Oh, there's yeah, yeah, What's yeah, that man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. gold medal. Yeah, what uh, yeah, I want to go and see Mickey Mouse. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Yeah, that's right. No, I, I think something imprinted on me, you know, like and when I was there. And I think that's the cool thing about... You know, and this sort of Men's Health Week stuff is, it's so good to be able to, um, you know, I've got kids and, and I want to do active things with them. And I think with Dad taking me to the Olympics and me just being immersed in that sort of atmosphere. It's pretty was cool really, family trip. A really, really cool family trip. And I think even though I don't remember the whole thing, I do have memories of bits and pieces and I think I've taken that to my career and, and to how I become a great dad as well. Yeah. Do you, do you go back there? Can you go back there easily, Ian? Like that stage when you're actually winning those gold medals? Can you close your eyes oh, and be yeah. right back there? Easy. Go back there. In fact, the biggest memory to me was on the first night after the first two gold medals, trying to go to sleep. I could not go to sleep because my cheeks were so sore from smiling. I was smiling <laughs> all day. And I was in bed rubbing away trying to get the massage and down so I could go to sleep. They were aching, oh, honestly. God. They hurt because I was just smiled all day. That is a great problem to have. Well, no, that is. It's a good point to be in your life, isn't it? Uh, and, and what are you doing now? Because obviously you've been quite involved with, um, is it Wero, the, the white water Yeah, Victor Wero, yep. Yeah. Um, general manager there. It's taken me 12 years of encouraging and helping to get that going. And why was it important to get that up and going? It was just a dream I had. I just I went to the Sydney Olympics to watch Stephen swim and I saw the, the first ever Whitewater Park there and I just thought we've got to have that in New Zealand because it does work. They're getting Olympians out of it in Australia. They, they're in the medals every, year, every time now so we want to be in that similar situation. Nice yeah. work. And um, for you, Steve, what are you up to now? Because I know you're quite heavily involved with uh, surf lifesaving. Yeah, so I'm, I'm Piha, surf lifesaving coach, and I look after, I've got about 60 kids that I'm, I sort of um, support with their careers and, and try and help them, uh, you know, make good athletic choices and, um, you know, push them in the right direction. And, and, you know, from my knowledge of being an athlete and what I've taken from Dad and all the endeavours that I've had just to really help them be the, the athletes that they want to be. So it's, it's really exciting. And I 
I, and it's such a great sport that's such a family-based sport. So having my kids come along to the beach and you know eat sand and stuff yeah. like that is yeah. fantastic. And they better follow, they better like it too. They oh, will yeah. like what Daddy does. Yeah, <laughs> well, yeah. that's really nice, yeah. and it's great to have you two both in the studio. And very encouraging, and very supportive, and I'm sure that you're going to encourage a whole new generation of amazing athletes as well. Uh, we're very proud of your achievements too in representing New Zealand, and we love that you're using your influence to be ambassadors for Men's Health Week. So oh yes, you. yes, and on that, if you get the chance, go to any Unichem or Life Pharmacy and you can get a free health check during the month of June. That's thanks to Pit Stop. So do that. It's free, easy. Thanks for joining us on the cafe today.